Welcome back to another episode of Whitetail Bushcraft. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. Today's the first day of 2017, and I hope everybody has a wonderful year. And today we're going to do a gear review and cook up some redneck fajitas. Okay, for the first day of January, it's just beautiful today. We're in the mid 40s. Ended up having to take my jacket off. Uh, first campfire of the year and we're going to cook us up some redneck fajitas and the company and Keo sent me a 10 piece backpacker camping cookware a lightweight set weighs about a pound and a half and we're going to use this to make our uh, fajitas I'll go ahead and pull this out for you guys so you can see what all it contains it comes with the cinch stack big pot it's supposed to be set up for two to three people smaller pot with lid little spat wooden spatula nice size pot in keo and then it also comes with a frying pan and they all have the foldable handles like I say it weighs about a pound and a half and we're going to use this today to make our redneck fajitas. Also comes with a loofah for cleaning it up. Comes with a spoon more or less, ladle, and three little bowls. Nice little setup. And you can get this on Amazon and I'll put the link in the description below for $24.99 under 25 bucks and it said it's for free shipping so might be something you guys are interested in this is more geared towards the backpacking I'm going to actually cook the steak the venison steak on the actual open fire I don't like a pan fried venison steak it actually gives it a uh, irony almost liver taste if I'm gonna do a pan fried venison steak or venison meat I like to do it in a gravy or with a uh, some kind of sauce or even actually with a um, stew or like, like a chicken fried steak also but we're gonna get this thing going and I'll also broke out my old camping stove this is old school this thing's probably as old as me it's American camper two burner little setup with propane or butane neat little setup though but we're gonna use that to get the sauce and the vegetables going and like I say, we're going to use the fire for actually cooking up the steaks. All right, we're going to start out with getting the peppers and vegetables ready. I like seeds and all. These don't have that many seeds in them. Got some nice sweet peppers. Kind of packed for comfort today. I'm still lightweight. take some of the seeds out of them. Seeds don't bother me, throw the rest of the animals. We got some mushrooms here, fresh mushrooms. I like my mushrooms kind of chunky because they do shrink down when you're cooking them. Got my coals going for the steaks to be next. I want to get these vegetables going. Brought me out a sweet onion. Also, I think I'm going to saute that up in the butter first. Brought out a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic. Have the butter in the 
pan for the onions and the other half in for them, the other vegetables. Nice big sweet onion. Put them right in the pan, the frying pan part. We're going to fire up this stove, get things to cooking. Also minced up some garlic. Going to throw that right in with the mushrooms and peppers. And this will all get mixed together here soon when I do the sauce too. got them a cooking. Now to get to the steaks. Alright. Time to break out the star of the show. Which is the venison. Harvested this year. My buck I actually got. The 11 pointer. A couple of really nice steaks. That I'm going to cook on the grill hole first and then we're going to slice them up real nice for the redneck fajitas and as soon as them coals get ready we're going to do it right on the grill, get that good grill taste to them, mixed in with these uh, vegetables. Yeah, buddy. The onions are getting nice and caramelized, looking good. And our peppers and mushrooms are looking real good. This little camper stove doing pretty good. I do like this little backpack, 11 piece or 10 piece backpacking kit. It's definitely worth 25 bucks if you're looking for something lightweight for backpacking, camping, or just doing a little wild cooking and enjoying yourself out in the wild. I think I'm going to let this stuff simmer a little bit and get on with the steaks. Turn this down some. 